Okay, today we're making Jamie's Chili Con Carne meatballs with sweet peppers and black beans. And that's what it's supposed to look like. Um, we have opted not to put the chili, that, that actual chili, on top because, uh, well, I think I, I'm not that big of a spicy person and uh, we don't really want to turn on the broiler just for that. So, anyway, let's see. Alright, so this meal comes with ground beef, scallions, a lime, a red pepper, cilantro, brown rice, a can of black beans, and a can of whole peeled tomatoes, and then little packets of, this one is cumin, this one's paprika, and this one is chipotle powder. Okay, so the only problem with the Jamie Oliver uh, men, or, uh, direction thing is that unlike the other ones, he doesn't list what um, 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 utensils you need. So, but from looking at, from reading it all, um, you need a pot, two pans, and something to broil the peppers with if you need to, or if you want that kind of thing. And then, of course, you need something to chop your vegetables on, um, and I think that's about it. We'll, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, let's get started. The first thing we do is we're going to bro uh, boil the rice. Okay, so while you're waiting for the right, uh, the water to boil and put the rice in, you're going to chop up the scallions, um, have the lime, and then um, chop up the bell pepper and the cilantro. I'll just do that now. Next we take a pan with some oil in it, put in the bell peppers, the scallions, and uh, some, of the, um, some of the cilantro, and we're going to cook it over medium heat for about four to five minutes until it's softened. Meanwhile, we're going to get a small bowl, plus um, put the meat in and the paprika, and probably some more stuff, but I'll get back to that in a second. In this small bowl, we have the ground beef, we have the chipotle pepper, we have the paprika, and salt and pepper. I'm going to mix it together with my hands, roll the mixture into six little balls, make sure your hands are wet, apparently, um, and then I'm just going to set it aside. If the part of this got messed up, I will say that basically what happened was that we added the rice to the boiling water and cooked it for 25 minutes. After it's done, uh, boiling for 25 minutes, then you drain it and then put it back into the, the bowl, I mean the pot. Um, you put some cilantro, the rest of the cilantro into it, um, and I put squirt some li um, lime into it, um, fluffed it up, and then covered it and set it aside. Here's a quick look at the meatballs when I have mixed it together and formed them. Next, you add the can of tomatoes into the pan with the bell pepper and the scallions. You're going to break up the tomatoes, add a half a can of water, and wait and bring it up to a boil. Um, then you're going to uh, drain the black beans and then 
uh, dump them into the pan. As you can see, I added the black beans to the sauce. Okay. And we're just kind of letting it, it didn't really say what to do after that, so I'm just kind of letting it thicken up maybe. Um, I'm keeping it on like medium. And then next, I get another pan, add the cumin seeds and the meatballs. And we're going to cook four minutes until brown. Um, and then we're going to add the meatballs into the tomato sauce and cook for six to eight minutes more. Make sure you get this brown on every side. While the meatballs are now cooking thoroughly in the sauce and thickening up, we're going to take the rest of the cilantro and put it into the rice. I know it's hard to see here. Let me bring it over here. And we're just going to mix it into the rice and then cover it back up so it stays warm. Here's the final one. Got the rice on the bottom, the mixture and the meatballs. You're supposed to top it with the yogurt and a squeeze of lime. And if you had made the chili, uh, the blackened chili, then that would have gone on top, but we're skipping that part. All right, I'll be back and let you know how it is. Hey guys, I'm here with a review for the food. For the first time, I didn't really like it. Um, I think what happened was that it just didn't have enough flavor for me. Um, something happened with the salt and pepper. So basically, um, in every other recipe that we've gotten, it tells you to salt and pepper at several different times. Um, and this one really didn't. Um, I'm not sure why. Jamie Oliver's a recipe booklet thing, not the booklet, but the sheet it comes on, um, doesn't even give you the list of tools you need like the other uh, recipes do. Um, not sure why that is either. I guess they figured you knew to salt and pepper, but the thing is, is that because the other ones did, um, I didn't want to over salt and pepper something, and I thought that maybe um, when it didn't tell me to do that, that it meant it didn't really need it because of some other ingredient that was in the, the, the food that was there. So anyway, not a whole lot of salt and pepper. Um, not maybe a whole lot of herbs. I mean, I like paprika and cumin and everything else. Um, but it just, I don't know, like... The, the rice, even though I put the cilantro in the rice and I even put the lime um, juice into the rice, it just wasn't cutting it for me. Um, I, I guess I would have preferred some other kind of herbs into the mixture of the peppers and the tomatoes and the beans, even without salt and pepper. Like, I, I'm not sure what, um, but I, I really wish that there had been something else in that sauce. Um, the meatballs were pretty good. Um, I I don't, I mean, they were, they were spicy enough for me. Um, I didn't need the extra pepper, um, but I guess, I don't know. Uh, it was okay. I mean, they weren't my favorite types of meatballs. Um, I kind of wish there had been another kind of herb in there too. Um, and there wasn't, um, it was just a paprika and the cumin or not the cumin. Um, the paprika and the chipotle powder. There we go. So, so that was it. So anyway, long story short, it wasn't as flavorful as I'd really liked it to be. I don't know that I'd make the recipe again. I, if I did, I'd probably um, put more or herbs in it. I changed some things. Um, I don't. I don't even know that I put meatballs with it. I know that sounds weird, but like, it seemed like it was supposed to be a Mexican dish, but then you put meatballs on it, and that was just I don't know. Anyway, um, long story short, so it was kind of a dud for me, but, I mean, it wasn't horrible. Like, I didn't, like, go, oh, I'm not going to eat this. I ate everything, um, despite the fact that it wasn't all that flavorful. Uh, so yeah, um, if you liked this video, uh, hit the like button and please subscribe. Thanks, see you again in a couple of days for another HelloFresh recipe.